we spent the weekend in Newport. We are heading right now to go take my nephew to the Hatfield Marine Science Center, which is down near Rogue Brewery, down in the Bay area. Um, so yeah, we are heading there now. We'll go check it out. We are really close to the Science Center. If you don't know, this is uh, basically ran by OSU, Oregon State University. Plus, we watch the Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. See? And we have a stole away. No, we watch you. That's my nephew in the back. Because we watch I mean, if you have time while you're in Newport, there's um, this whole little pirates plunder area there's little in well i guess you call them antique stores but they're not really there's a little aquarium zoo back there some little cafes little shops all the stuff you would basically see on the coast right, right here is the oregon coast aquarium haven't been there in a while but when you've gone hundreds of times over your lifespan, it really it is not exciting. Not a cha they have an area that changes. It's rotating, but... The Hatfield Center is better. You can touch. I, I'm not going to make any comments regarding that. Um, nope, not going to say nothing more. Over there. Rogue Brewery and the marina. Mm -hmm. oh, no, I mean, if you want to spend too. the day out here, you could. You could definitely spend a day over on this side of the the bay. There is a lot to see. I mean, it just depends on how much time you want to spend in the Science Center. I mean, honestly, it used to be a lot bigger. There was a lot more to see. Um, now it's you to go through the roundabout. Well, that's there's a little, good. yeah, that's all new. There's a cafe over there also, I guess. So, yeah, there's also Noah's usually parked over here. I think it's here today. I think it's out. Yeah, I don't see it. I think they are out. There's a science center submarine right there. Yep. There is where we're going, right there. Okay, let's park and go inside. Can you reach it? Oh, I need to help you? Maybe Lily can help you. Hold on, Lily's gonna help you. Oh. Oh, you listen. Gotta push the button. Do you hear anything? Push it. Looking around the marine, 
Complete Science Center. He's going a little fast. Not time to look at anything. So look at the sea lion caves down just north of Florence. He keeps running away from me. <laughs> Alright, so we are done at the Science Center. Nephew had a little bit of fun. Daughter had a little bit of fun walking around with him. Now we are headed over to the historic Bayfront to go walk around. Kind of want to see how the puppy reacts to some of the stuff down there. There's usually like a dock full of seals. We've always taken the dogs down there to see their reactions. They've all reacted a little differently. You love those. Those are cool. So now we're gonna go and drive over like the bridge. And down to the bayfront. Got the Coast Guard here. All sorts of little shops, restaurants. Oh, I guess they're trying to restore some of it. Oh, isn't that lovely? I don't think I've ever seen it look like that before. Never seen it like that before either. Oh wait, what time is it? Some of these places may not be open yet because of the time. It's only 10 o'clock. Let's go walk around a little bit. Oh, look at the big skeleton over there. Giant skeleton. Yeah, if this place is busy and you're driving a big truck, it's tight. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend coming down here with oversized vehicles. It's usually like jam-packed with parking. Fish market's open. Old time photography. Yeah. Oh, that's where I wanted to go. Right there, and they're open. This area down here is open because all of this stuff's open early. Like, there's Ripley's Believe It or Not, which, I mean, I haven't been through it since they've redone it, but even when it was back in the day, it was kind of cool to go through. Um, there's whale watching down here. Yeah. Um, ice cream shops, candy shops. Oh, there's Ripley's Believe It or Not. Which I believe they merged with the wax museum that used to be down here. Um, there also used to be the Undersea Gardens. Um, the Undersea Gardens went away and Ripley's and the Wax Museum merged together. So it used to be a get all three for one low price type of a, a situation. So this is one of the parking lots you can go to. Oh, it's a pay park now. Oh, we don't want to pay to park. That's some bullshit. Kaka? Up top. Oh, that's why Haley parked up top the other day. I was like, why you park way up there? She goes, because it's free. And I said, what do you mean it's free? It's all free. Parking's free. Apparently, that one is for like maybe the, I don't know, 
You should just park along back here so you could. Daddy want to park out on the street. You want to park out on the street? I'm fine There's parking on the street. On the street so. yeah. It's just getting Cherokee in and out. Oh, is that careful? Yes. Okay. I'm going to park on the street. Isn't that pretty? Park up here, you can see everything. So upper one is free, lower one, you must pay to park. Looked like it was a texting situation. I mean, there's nobody really down there, so. Up there is the Ripley's parking lot. I've parked there before. Where? Oh, right there. There in the front. Easy, easy out. Yep, no one parks in front of us. We will definitely not be here more than four hours. Too old. All right. Parked. Oh, driving through Lincoln City. Went through a neighborhood purse, so we missed part of it. Just looking for the place to drive down on the beach. They do have a spot where you can park on the beach here. Last I knew they did. Oh, that place is up for sale already. They just redid it. Yeah, that's the one that we stayed at that they redid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now it's not open anymore. Oh, not down here. This is the church. Park. In the church parking lot. Hey, what's up? This is the church parking lot, not the church parking lot. <laughs> this was a. We can get to the beach from here. Woo woo. Oh, they only have one way in and out. I hope not. Kind of seems, um, oh no, there we go. It's going to say, that's not up to fire code. <laughs> this is pre fire code. It's like every time I come here, I have to try to remember where this place is at. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see back there, but the waves are humongous today. Over here? Okay, we'll see. A lot of vacation rentals along this road. Nope, there's tire tracks down there. Hmm? So there's tire tracks down there. Yeah, we get to drive down to the beach. This little area is what you got to be able to park on the beach, but it is an option. Yeah, I just, yeah, I should come back. You can come back. Yeah, I should come back. I call you. And this is as far as you can go. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no driving. Back. Driving. No driving. Driving. See that sign over there. That's it. It's just a parking. Parking on the beach. And that's it. What's up, yo? Looking for the food. Nothing for you, sorry, bud. All right, yeah. let's go. I guess are we parking or are we get going on? heading out? All right, heading back up out of the beach. Ah. Very narrow road, so you gotta make sure nobody's coming. You're good.
People are so disrespectful these days. Dead end. They're cute little houses. They're tiny. Oh, they're rentals. Stoplight. Stop light. That's what I want. Just cruising through Lincoln City. Oh, that's up a hill right there. Oh, cute little. This is downtown. Little shops, stores, everything to see. Vegan. Almost out of Lincoln City. Oh, yep, that was our weekend. Just hanging out on the beach, at the beach. Couldn't really do much when it rains. But that's it. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye! Stairs. Oh wow. Down the ramp to the rocks. Woo! Come on, bud. Come on, boy. This morning, the sunny blue sky, white puffy clouds, so pretty. Nice sunrise. And noon, it's this. Raining, gloomy, wet. Yes. Well, we'll see you later.